All right, I'm here with a meteorologist Laura Blanchard. You know, Laura, a lot of talk about the solar eclipse coming up. And it's not that far away, but a lot of folks here locally are saying, what is it and what am I going to see? You're right. It's very exciting. It's just over a week away, and I'm getting very excited because this is an event you're not going to want to miss. The total solar eclipse of 2024 is almost here, and the excitement is building for people all across the country making their final plans to travel to the path of totality. But if you're planning on staying here in our region for the eclipse, you will still be able to see the incredible sight of a partial eclipse. I talked with ETSU professor Gary Henson about what we will be able to see across our region on April 8th. It's going to be an absolute like once in a lifetime event that for some people they even claim it's spiritual, it changes their whole lives because they've seen such an event. As April 8th gets closer, everyone is getting ready to view the 2024 total solar eclipse. Dr. Gary Henson, a professor of physics and astronomy at ETSU, gives us a sneak peek of what we can expect while the eclipse is happening. But what exactly is a total solar eclipse? The solar eclipse, which is what we have coming up, most exciting because the moon will block the sun. And this occurs simply because as the moon orbits the Earth, it actually passes between the Earth and the sun. And for a given location on the Earth, uh, we will be in the shadow of the moon and see the sun totally blocked out in the sky. In order to see the total solar eclipse in its full effect, you have to be within the path of totality. Since the uh, moon itself just happens by uh, happenstance to be almost the same angular size as the sun, the shadow it casts on average is only about 100 miles wide. The path of totality for this eclipse ranges from southern Texas through the Midwest and up to Maine. If you are in this path, you won't just be able to see the eclipse. There's an added bonus too. This time in particular, the shadow is going to be about four minutes long and all five planets that can be seen with the naked eye, which is Mercury, Venus, the Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, all five planets are going to be visible in the sky. Even if you don't plan on traveling to the path of totality, here in our region, we still will see quite the show of a partial eclipse. Here, since we're really not that far from that path, uh, we'll see about 90% coverage. So what's going to happen is, uh, even if you're not outside noticing it, it's going to start to gradually get darker and darker. It'll become at the maximum about like uh, conditions at dusk or twilight. Uh, and that process is going to happen over the course of about an hour from the beginning to the end. As everyone gets excited for the eclipse to happen, there are some safety concerns to cover. Uh, well, the easiest thing to view it, if you want to try to view it while it's happening, is to have either like the special eclipse glasses or an actually specially made solar filter, because you must block out like 99.9999% of the sunlight to safely view it. It's just too intense. You can easily damage the retina of the eye by looking at it too long. Yeah, so it's very exciting. It's an event surely you don't want to miss, but of course, when staring at the sun, you definitely have to be careful. Yes, that is true. But a lot hey, of yeah, yeah, and a lot of people starting to actually plan their travels if they haven't already planned or are thinking on staying here. And when I asked Dr. Henson what his plans were, he's planning to travel to central Arkansas with telescopes and video cameras to capture the eclipse and then bring it back to show all of his students, which is pretty cool. Could be very, very cool. Nice. I actually have a flight from the Midwest that I'm, I, I have it right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, hit you up you afterwards. You do through the time of the eclipse. So I'm anxious to see how that all plays out. Casey's got a I'll report seat. back. <laughs> so uh, yeah, be but it's very, gonna be very cool. Yeah. You know, it's uh, not up to me. I'm just gonna be sitting there buckled in and uh, looking out the window for sure. But, I mean, if you uh, get pictures and looking, okay, yes. okay, yeah, okay, it's be exciting. With my eyes, right? I know. <laughs> and the countdown Always is on. Always looking out for me. Yep, yeah. the countdown is on. Just over a week away. All right. Thanks, all right, Laurel. Laurel thanks.